Bertha is underground, we all know that, but she's also underwater. She's essentially a submarine. I'm Justin Costello. I'm the Hyperbaric Division Manager for Ballard Marine Construction here in Seattle, Washington. We plan and execute hyperbaric interventions on site here. In order to access the cutter head for inspection or maintenance, we've got to remove that ground and the ground water. And to do that, we've got to displace it with compressed air, all while maintaining pressure so nothing collapses in. In order to access that compressed air environment, we need to use hyperbaric chambers. The air is compressed to the same pressure as the water table, and workers access the cutter head for maintenance and inspection. When our workers enter the, the excavation chamber, First and foremost, they've got to clean. Uh, there can be rocks and mud and clay. Those have to be knocked down and cleared out of the way so they won't fall on our workers. Once the cutter has, is accessible and the tools are exposed, our workers will put a, a gauge on every single tool and determine the millimeters of wear. Depending on the location of that cutter, there are different tolerances for wear. And if it falls within the, uh, the tolerances, then that, that tool is determined as good for continued excavation. If it falls outside of that tolerance, then we need to replace it. Because the environment is compressed, we treat it very similar to a, a dive. And so the time is limited. They've got to work quickly, get back out, and then undergo a decompression procedure to bring them back to atmospheric pressure in a safe manner. The workers on a standard day of interventions will come in, a report to the medical facilities on Bertha for a baseline physical. How does this feel? Same. How does that feel? Same. They'll return to the medic station for an immediate physical. They'll remain in the medical quarters for another hour for observation and undergo a third physical exam. Once we get up, at, up front and working, it's pretty similar to working at atmospheric pressure. The people that go underground, it's difficult for them to think that they're 100 feet underwater. 